guys, World of Lewis here, and today uh, we've got another video for you guys, and as you can see we're doing the video outside again, so that means we've got another match day experience video for you guys, um, and we are back to Europa League action, so Premier, uh, Premier League games and Europa League games are the only games pretty much that are uh, coming up now, um, so yeah, nice to be in another Europa League game. Because it's going to be an interesting one tonight, I have a feeling. So, yes, guys, it's the Europa League. It is, indeed, the semi-final. Quarter-final last time, last 16, round of 32, the knockout stage. It's gone quick. And I can't believe we've gone this far. I thought we'd only reach the, the quarter-finals or something. But, no, we've got to the semis, and that's a good thing. So, yes, guys, semi-final action tonight. So, yes, guys, it's actually the second leg tonight. The first leg was at, I'll tell you the team in a minute. So, we have got, we have got the advantage tonight of the... First game, second leg game, you know what there is. So, yeah, we've kind of got the advantage today, but tonight's going to be a tough game. I'll tell you, opponents, it is indeed Manchester United versus Celta Vigo. So, yeah, Celta Vigo, if you know much about them, they are a Spanish side. Um, and a good team. They gave us a few problems in the first leg. Of course, we should we could have showed more because we actually did win 1-0 in uh, the away leg. At, uh, at, at Celta Vigo so yeah it could have been like 5 0 to United putting in all our chances so yeah we've only got one goal though but it's an away goal so that's all that matters so yes guys without further ado let's just get that team news in so start with the like Fellaini set to well he's available for Jose Mourinho to play because he's his, uh, obviously got red card at City a few weeks ago and he's on his three match ban but that doesn't count for Europa League games it only counts for Premier League games so he's he can play tonight and also Valencia is going to return after missing the 2-0 defeat by Arsenal at the Emirates I think he was just rested um, so yeah that's it for tonight for Celta Vigo I think it's former United player Gospi Rossi whatever his name is is out with a injury I think he's been out for about five months I think he's out for five months um, so yeah that's it for team news other than that kickoffs at 8.05 don't need to go through this anymore so yeah 8.05 kickoff and also another interesting fact about Santa Vigo they have uh, two interesting facts actually they've lost their last five games in all in, in all competitions Celta Vigo so not doing too well um, in all competitions but yeah, it's going to be fun, and also they have got lots of, um, what was it again? Uh, yeah, they've scored in their last six um, Wii Europa League games this season, so probably going to score tonight, aren't they? Yeah, as I said, you know, they've got nothing to lose. They're not going to come here and have a sightsee around the city. Um, they're going to come here, nothing lazy, one more the first leg, and they're going to be up for grabs tonight. It's going to be tough. Might go to extra time, might go to penalties. It's going to be an interesting night. So, yes, guys, of course, I say it was an 85 kickoff. So, yeah, guys, we'll be off to FJ's. You know what it stands for? Fat jackets, that, that delicious potato. The last time, I think, it was 10 out of 10. Although I did have a tea cake last time, didn't I? So, yeah, hopefully, it's a good one tonight. So, yes, guys, fat jackets, a little bit off to Old Trafford, Theatre of Dreams, to see Manchester United versus Celta Vigo in a semi final second leg. So yes, guys, let's do this on another match day vlog in the UEFA Europa League. Boom.
outfit today. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> you all right, Steve? I managed to get out of bed today. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I know what to get you for Christmas now, an alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it, you know, because I set, I'd actually set me alarm for 20 to 5. Yeah. Um, and I woke up at 10 past 4 to go to the toilet, and yeah. I thought, oh, okay, you know, I switched it off, thought, oh, I'll get up in a minute. And yeah. then the next thing I know, I just knew, as soon Shocking. as I opened my eyes, I went, no way, because I just knew. You know what I mean? I knew I was late, Great. so. You earned too much money. Things. You earned too much money. Eh? You earned too, too much. I wish. <laughs> I watch.
of traffic now and now we're going to our seat so let's go We got here just in time for the sprinklers. Right, going inside old traffic now. A um, pretty, pretty uh, good experience so far, as per usual. So, yeah, let me just show you the stadium now and our view again. Right, guys, here we are with the stadium. Stretching it over there. So, Bobby Charlton stand over there. And over there, if I just zoom in as well, the Celta Vigo fans are missing. So now I do three men over there to not let these Celta fans get in at it. And there's also some uh, security men over there as well. Um, and then the East stands where we are. And then finally we've got the big Sir Alex Ferguson stands up there. Right guys, we're going to do score predictions uh, now with Dad. So your prediction for today? Feels like a while since we've yeah, been Yeah, it seems like a while, but uh, we, we've obviously dropped into our usual spot of sixth in the league. Uh, we seem to be uh, forever in that spot. Whenever we get a chance to, uh, to to leapfrog Liverpool and City, we always blow it. Anyway, enough about that. It just frustrates me, our league form. Uh, this one, we, I think we, the team have got to put on a performance for the fans tonight. I've sat here, we, we've never missed a home game this season and I've been disappointed with some of the play. I've only witnessed a couple of couple of decent games here, the last one being Chelsea, so I just want to be entertained and I want United to come out tonight and show us what, what they're made of. A couple of goals, I don't want a nervous performance, I don't want it, oh, 60, 70 minutes, it's still nil-nil. Then all of a sudden, Celta Vigo pop up and get a goal, I don't want that. I want to see some positive play, I want to see everybody at it, I want to see some pride in the shirt today. I want to see that badge being played for by every every player, whoever he picks, even for Laney. Uh, having said that, obviously Celta not on a great run, they've lost the five five matches in all competitions. They've scored in every, every Europa League game away, which does worry me a little bit, but hey, the first game was no problem. At all. Although so, we could have scored five points yeah, on yeah, our chances. We, we, we should be coming into this tie with, with four or five goal lead, but we haven't. So I want to see a positive performance. It, you know, that Celta Vigo haven't come here to sightsee. They, they're going to come here. They know they've got to, got to play, a, play a good game and get, get a goal or two here. So. We need to be careful because they've got keepers like Asbasson. Yeah, they obviously they've got a scouser in there. So that. that you know, that, that's, that, that's eating me up as well, so I'm going 2-0 United. I'm not sure tonight, I haven't really thought about it. It's, it's going to be tough. Cool, Celta Vigo, lost the last five, but scored in all their Europa League away games, which gives me a worry, so... I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a one all tonight. A bit strange, but... I'm going to go with a one all. It's a bit... Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the team who's you wait for the Europa League match between Manchester United and Celta Vigo. And a special warm welcome to our visitors from Spain. The wait for Europa League gives us a great opportunity to see teams on a European journey. We can't ask you to support the wait for support for respect towards players, referees, officials and fellow supporters. Racism has no place in football. We ask you to support our initiative for European football to say no to racism and enjoy tonight's match. This evening we're here to watch great European football and we hope you enjoy the game.
Old Trafford, Manchester United lined up this evening. In goal, number 20, Sid Young Mera. Number 3, Eric Bailly. Number 6, Paul Pogba. Number 14, Jesse Lingard. Number 17, David Glenn. Number 19, Marcus Rashford. Number 21, Ander Herrera. Number 22, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Number 25, Antonio Valencia. Number 27, Marlon Fellaini. Number 36, Mikhail Damian. And the subs for United, number 1, David De Gea. Number 4, Phil Jones. Number 8, Juan Mata. Number 10, Wayne Rooney. Number 11, Anthony Martial. Number 12, Chris Morley. Number 16, Michael Carrick. Antonio Valencia. 
Celta have had a lot of possession, they've had a few chances, uh, we've just played in, in, in spurts really, we've, we've never really dominated, although we've looked strong, but it just worries me that second half we don't give them the ball, start giving them all the possession and they get one and it gets a bit nervous. We need to come out a bit focused in the second half, do a professional job. Fellaini took his goal well. It's been all right, but it's been a bit, you know, they've had a lot of possession. They've had chances, they've had possession. We, we, we've, we've lost the ball in a few areas. But hey, we're 1-0 up and we're 2 up on the, uh, the leg, so we can't complain. But I'd like to see us just turn up an extra gear in the second half and get another goal. 
It's going to be a big second half. Uh, I'd like to see some more goals. I'd like to see some more play from United, a bit more uh, better play from United. Possession, more possession, so big second half. Come on, United. Substitution for United, replacing number 22, Lady Unitarian. It's number 16, Michael Murray.